ਮਾਈ ਸੈਲਫ ਸੰਦੀਪ ਰੋੜਾ ਲੈਕਚਰਰ ਕੈਮਿਸਟਰੀ ਫਰੋਮ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਸੀਨੀਅਰ ਸੈਕੰਡਰੀ ਸਕੂਲ ਟਿੱਬਾ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਕਪੂਰਥਲਾ ਯੂ ਆਲ ਆਰ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਕੈਮਿਸਟਰੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਆਫ 11th ਸਟੈਂਡਰਡ ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਬਾਇਓਲੋਜੀਕਲ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਸੋਡੀਅਮ ਐਂਡ ਪੋਟਾਸ਼ੀਅਮ ਸੋਡੀਅਮ ਐਂਡ ਪੋਟਾਸ਼ੀਅਮ ਇਜ਼ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਫੋਰ ਬਾਇਓਲੋਜੀਕਲ ਪਰਪਸ ਸੋਡੀਅਮ ਐਂਡ ਪੋਟਾਸ਼ੀਅਮ ਆਰ ਮੋਸਟ ਕਾਮਨ ਕੈਟਾਇਨਸ ਇਨ ਬਾਇਓਲੋਜੀਕਲ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਸੋਡੀਅਮ ਆਇਨ ਐਂਡ ਪੋਟਾਸ਼ੀਅਮ ਆਇਨਸ ਆਰ ਕੈਮੀਕਲੀ ਕੁਆਇਟ ਸਿਮਿਲਰ ਬਟ ਸਰਪ੍ਰਾਈਜ਼ਿੰਗਲੀ ਦੇ ਡਿਫਰ ਗ੍ਰੇਟਲੀ ਇਨ देयर ਬਾਇਓਲੋਜੀਕਲ ਐਕਟੀਵਿਟੀਜ਼ ਇਟ ਹੈਸ ਬੀਨ ਫਾਉਂਡ ਥੈਟ ਐਨ ਐਵਰੇਜ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਬੋਡੀ weighing 70 kg contain about 90 g of sodium and 170 g of potassium the most salient feature is that potassium ions are present in higher concentration inside the cell then sodium ion while their respective concentration are reverse outside the cells in other word the potassium ions are concentrated inside the cells while sodium ions are concentrated outside the cell sodium ions are found on the outside of the cell being located in blood plasma and in the fluid which surrounds the cell the ions participating in the transmission of nerve signals is regulating the flow of water across cell membranes and in the transport of sugars and amino acids into the cell sodium and potassium although similar chemically but differ quantitatively in their ability to penetrate cell membranes the potassium ions are the most abundant cation within cell fluids where they activate many enzymes and participate in the oxidation of glucose which produce ATP and which are responsible for the transmission of the nerve signals in blood plasma sodium is present to the extent of 143 millimoles per liter whereas the potassium level is only 5 millimoles per liter within the red blood cells let us discuss in brief about sodium potassium pump the mechanism of this pump explains that due to large concentration gradient inside and outside the cell the transport of sodium ion into the cell is favored therefore the sodium ions entering the cell must be pumped out some metabolic energy is expended to maintain the concentration gradients of sodium ions and potassium ions inside and outside the cell this process is known as sodium potassium pump this process operates the cell membrane the energy for the transport of these ions is provided by the hydrolysis of energy rich molecules that are atp thus both sodium and potassium ions are essential ions for living organism there is very considerable comparison between sodium ion 
and potassium ions that we will discuss one by one sodium ions are major component of blood plasma while potassium ions are activating many enzymes sodium ions are important in transmission of nerve signals and function of heart on the other hand potassium ion participating in the oxidation of glucose to produce energy rich atp molecules sodium ions are important in activation in some enzymes but potassium are protein synthesis sodium ions transport sugars and amino acids into cells while potassium ions pumps for the transmission of nerve signals then come to the function of sodium and potassium both ions are used to maintain constant osmotic pressure on either side of the cell walls both the ions are the part of regulatory systems of acid base balance potassium ions and sodium ions are needed for smooth working of muscles and the nervous system that is they maintain the sensitivity of nerves and control the muscles there are different sources of sodium and potassium common salt is the main source of sodium in our food potassium is present in tea coffee cocoa dried beans molasses green leaf vegetables milk fish bananas pineapple and potatoes etc the daily requirement of sodium chloride is 5 to 10 grams and the daily requirement of potassium is approximately 4 gram for the human body now come to the deficiency or excess of sodium and potassium causes many disease the first one is reduction of fat deposit and lungs infection occur due to the deficiency of sodium its deficiency causes retarded bone growth and also reduces blood pressure the excess of sodium increases blood pressure that is hypertension then the deficiency of potassium reduces heartbeat it causes paralysis of muscles hypertrophy of kidneys well that is all for today class hope you all have understood everything about biological importance of sodium and potassium thank you and have a nice day